हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज यूनिशा गोस्वामी रिप्रेजेंटिंग शिव ज्योति एजुकेशनल ग्रुप कोटा स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी रोमन न्यूमरल्स फ्रॉम 21 टू 39 नाउ व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द करिस्पॉन्डिंग रोमन न्यूमरल्स ऑफ हिंदू अरेबिक न्यूमरल्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी वन नाउ हाउ विल आई राइट ट्वेंटी वन इन रोमन न्यूमरल आई विल राइट टू टेन and then add 1 to it so this represent 21 now 22 how will i write i will write 2x and then add 2 to it so 10 plus 10 20 20 plus 2 22 similarly to write 23 i will write 2 10 and then add 3 to it so this represents 23 now how will i write 24 I will write two ten and then add four to it. How will I write twenty five? I will add two ten and then add five to it. Now similarly to write twenty six, how will I write twenty six? I will write two ten and then add six to it. So this represent twenty six. To write twenty seven, I will add two ten and then add seven to it. To write twenty-eight, I will write two ten and then add eight to it. To ten plus ten plus eight, that is twenty-eight. Now to write twenty-nine, I will write two ten and then add nine to it. Now this represent ten ten twenty. Now this represent nine. So twenty plus nine is twenty-nine. Now to write thirty, I will write the corresponding Roman numeral of thirty as 3x. Each x represent 10, so therefore 3x will represent 30. Now, to write 31, I will make use of 30. So I will write 3x and then add 1 to it. So this represents 31. Similarly, to write 32, I will write 3x and then add 2 to it. So this represents 32. To write 33. I will write 3x and then add 3 to it. So 30 plus 3 will be 33. To write 34, I will write 3x and I will write 4 like this. So 3x 30 plus 4, 34. Now to write 35, I will write 3x and then add 5 to it. To write 36. I will write again. I will write three x and then add six to it. This represent the symbol of six. So thirty plus six will be thirty six. Similarly, to write thirty seven, I will write three x and then add seven to it. To write thirty eight, I will write three x and then add eight to it. Now the last one to represent thirty nine. How will I write? I will write three x. and then i will write the symbol of 9 so this represents 39 students now let us see question number 4 given on page number 24 of your book now question number 4 is draw the hour hand and the minute hand to show the time written in the box now what do you have to do in this question uh, you are given the time and you have to draw the hour hand and minute hand in the clock now this is a clock given now i have written the numbers inside the clock in roman form means the, this represent the roman numeral of the hindu arabic system of the numbers inside the clock now this is 4 o'clock so i have to draw the hour hand and minute hand inside the clock now how will i do i will draw the hour hand at 4 and the minute hand at 12 now hour hand the shorter needle represent hour hand and the greater needle the longer needle represents the minute hand so so this is the representation of 4 o'clock now c part i have to draw the hour hand and minute hand to show 10 o'clock so how will i uh, show 10 o'clock i will draw the hour hand at 10 and the minute hand at 12 so this represents 10 o'clock and this represents 4 o'clock now let us see question number 5 given on page 24 now question number 5 is write true or false now what you have to do you have to write true or false now a part is 
the roman numeral for 25 is x x v now you have to write true or false the roman numeral for 25 is x x v now how will we represent 25 we will write 2 10 that is 20 and the symbol of 5 is v so therefore this is 25 hence the answer is true now b part is the roman numeral x x v i i i represents the number 27 that means the roman numeral for 27 given over here is this but this represents 8 it is not representing 7 to represent 27 how will i write roman numeral as x x that is 10 plus 10 20 and the symbol of 7 like this therefore the roman numeral for 27 is this and not this hence the answer is false ok students i hope you understood well with this we have come to the conclusion of chapter number 2 that is roman numerals thank you